Hi guys, oh my god, that rain is so loud. Today we are going to London and why do I sound start beat? It's literally like eight o'clock, but it feels like seven because the clocks went forward. So I lost an hour of sleep, which I'm fuming about. Um, but we're going to London, we're going to see Dean Lewis in concert, who's like not a massive artist, but I feel like a lot of people will still know who he is and he's one of my favourites, so I'm so excited. Why am I talking like a thousand miles an hour? Um, but I'm actually driving to London, which I've never done before, so uh, pray for me because I don't know how it's going to go and I'm quite scared. But we just thought it'd be easier than like worrying about getting the last train home because it's a Sunday and I just don't want to be faffing about. So yeah, we've paid to park all day, which actually was surprisingly cheaper than I thought and like cheaper than buying a train ticket each as well, so... We're gonna go, we're gonna try, and yeah, I was gonna film my whole day in London because we're literally getting there for the whole day. Outfit so far, it's like a rouge top, and then there's these cream jeans. So yeah, having a little road trip, and then gonna go to London, probably have some nice lunch. All I keep thinking about is a McDonald's hamburger with onions in. It's so weird. I'm obsessed with onions at the moment, it's actually quite concerning. Um, and we're gonna go shopping and stuff like that. So yeah, I'll just take you along for the day and then film as much of the concert as I can because I filmed the Killers concert and honestly it's my favourite vlog to look back on. So I'm actually going to see so many artists in the next month. I've got I've got the um I've got Dean Lewis now and then I've got Elton John in a couple of weeks, which we've been waiting four years for. And then I've got Vance Joy at the end of April as well, which again is one of my favourite artists. So yeah, it's going to be exciting in terms of clock of in terms of concerts. But yeah, we probably should start going because we're already behind schedule. Right, we've finally arrived. That took so long because you have to drive for like twenty miles an hour for like ages. Wasn't we were like what was it like? We were like eight miles away, but like forty minutes away because of how slow you have to drive, and that was stressful. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not sure I'd do that again. But we're here now, and that's what counts. And to be honest, the rain is ruining all the pictures. I was going to take loads of pictures, and then. This rain is ruining it. And now I'm not sure if we're going to be able to because I can't bother, to be honest. And also I forgot to powder my face, so I look really sweaty. But we're just trying to find a McDonald's and then get something oh, to eat. Yeah, because we're starving. And then we're going to um, go shopping. To be fair, now we probably won't be as long if we're not doing photos. We'll have to get a few little candid photos of me just walking in London. <laughs> oh, why is my face so round? All right. Um, <laughs> you should cut your fingers. <laughs> Right, I'll catch up with you. I've only got 33 minutes left to film in. I've got to film a concert tonight. Bloody oh, hell. Oh, you're going to... Across the street. Look at the scaffolding. <laughs> We're starting with Primark because that's what we always do. And you've always got to go to the best Primark, Dan, which Dan always gets wrong, don't you? <laughs> yeah, he's about to go into the motherland now. Here's some really nice cargo. Bershka is really nice to be fair. I think I might get this top from Bershka. We've got to the men's section now. Um, sorry about the quality of this vlogging today, it's so bad. My oh, double chin's so bad. Oh, God. Let's go see if Dan has found anything in the men's section. But yeah, so far I just found that. Found anything? Is there women's up here as well? Or is it just men's? Oh, yeah, it's just men's. Oh, no, there is a little bit of women's. I just found this so far. Just a basic green top. Oh, this is the sales section. I think I should get these to be fair because that will add a lot of height on. Then I'll be taller than you, Dan. I think I should get them. inside. What do you mean? You be CA, you stand up there. You feel like you're on them stilts that you used to have at primary school. That's what it'd feel like. Mom. Look at Zara's swimwear. So nice. How nice that is. And they also have it in orange. This whole swim section is really nice. This star even has a massive beauty section. It's so cool. This is a boohoo cohort we're going to try and go in. I don't know. I think you can just go in. What does it say? We're going to try. <laughs> We're now heading to donut time, which is where my sister is obsessed with these donuts. I'll show you them in a minute. They are pretty good, to be fair. One, two, three, right, we are back in the car now, Dan. <laughs> Stop it. Dan's getting changed, so I can't show. Um, no, I've got some concealer. I'm trying to touch up my makeup because I realised I left the house today without powder on, and it's ruined my whole day, basically. Um, yeah, we're just trying to get changed now in the car. <laughs> you can hear your makeup. <laughs> 
<laughs> we're getting changed in the car now and then in about half an hour we're going to walk down to um the concert it's at the roundhouse which i've never been to any venue like that i've only ever been to like big venues you've been you've to only ever one. been to home bargains yeah that's true but McDonald's. yeah that is true but i've never been to like a big venue i've only been to like <laughs> the o2 wembley what you bloated <laughs> are they too tight I think I might be a bit too tired. Uh, you always underestimate, no offence, but you always get trousers that are too small for you. Do you even know, because I feel like I know your trouser size. What did you get? 36. 36? What? I thought you were 32. Yeah. What's up? Well, that was Zara, though. Zara's yeah. always small. Zara's um, always small. Oh, I didn't show you my legs. Oh, sorry, I've got trousers. F what? It's fine, it's fine. What, do you mean what if Dean Lewis sees me? That could be a problem. No, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Uh, yeah, I'm just letting my concealer soak in and then we're going to try and fix this makeup as best we can. <laughs> Is that your... <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'll show you my outfit. When we're, when we're done, I'll get Dan to film a little outfit of the will night. Will he? Yeah, I'll will get you. Yeah, he will, yeah, he will. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try and touch up this makeup. Um, we were in London for quite a while. Um, yeah, really Dan's bought himself. Oh, I've got hair there. Can you see it? Dan's bought himself a new outfit. I didn't, to be fair. Well, I did. I bought a lot. You know, it's funny. But... What? Is that just a plain white top? I've already got it. <laughs> Dan, you bought a plain white top from Zara. How much was that? Only like ten quid. No, I don't believe that. Where's the tag? About fifteen. Right, so it's gone up already. I bet it was seventeen ninety nine. <laughs> no, I think it was fifteen ninety nine. You nearly got that all over my makeup then. Ah! You've been sorry. What? Backwards. You put it on backward, Daniel. Um, yeah, I didn't buy a new outfit. Um, I just got cargoes and then top. But I did buy clothes. I bought quite a bit of stuff to be fair. But I'll probably do. I'll do a haul of the things that wasn't prime up when I get home. Well, I no, when I'm still home. talking. I'll yeah. Just rustling all yeah, back. I'm talking still. Yeah, I've got a lot to say. Um, <laughs> if it's oh, not God, from if it's not from prime up, then I'll. Rude. It's not rude. I'm trying to change. If it's not from Primark, I'll do a haul when I get back. If it's Primark, I'll say midnight. Oh, and then what I'll do the Primark haul separately for April. So yeah, I've got to finish this makeup now and get changed somehow. How am I going to get changed? My outfit is. I think it's all prop. No, this is Zara. The rest is all prop. It's jacket, uh, bottoms Primark, and this is actually Primark as well. But yeah, my hair looks like a bird's nest. I'm not happy. <laughs> this is Dan's outfit. How cute. Time for Dean Lewis. Oh, why do I look like a bird's nest? Here as well.
Hi guys, right, it's been a couple days now. We actually got back like really early in the morning on Monday. Yeah, it was like one in the morning and we just went straight to sleep. And honestly, I've just been recovering since then. Like, I just want to be a bit real here because obviously for the vlog, you can see just us just having a great time. But when you have a chronic illness like me, you end up paying the price for having a good time, as sad and depressing as that sounds. But it's just the truth and I'm just keeping it real. We did over 20,000 steps on Sunday. I did about almost five hours of driving no about yeah almost five hours of driving um and then obviously over twenty thousand steps it was a really long day so when stuff like that happens i just get so ill like you can just feel it in my body like my body has been in absolute agony i've been sick i've been um had like a really bad headache i've just not been well um i feel better a little bit better today yesterday i just felt so rough i just literally just got through work and then had a bath and then pretty much went to bed like had really an early night um and I do feel a little bit better today but still not great but it's just frustrating but I feel like when you've got a chronic illness you just have to like expect this and then if you expect it and can prepare for it like you just know to like go easy on yourself but it is frustrating that at 23 well almost 23 years old you end up suffering so much just because you had a nice day but to be honest it was worth it like it was such a good day Dean Lewis in concert was insane, as I'm sure you can probably see. I know that the, like, the actual clips, like the picture isn't a good quality because we were quite far back. But I'm hoping like this sound will come across because it was a really incredible venue. I've never been to a concert like that before where it's like a small artist. Um, and it just felt so much more intimate. Like the sound was incredible. I've been to concerts where it's like in like an arena, like a football stadium. And it's like all out in the open, which is still incredible. But like... It was just different and I've only ever been to see artists that are like quite upbeat in their music whereas the, obviously Dean Lewis as I'm sure you can probably tell from the clips or if you know Dean Lewis he's like all like emotional ballads which like I loved it like we were all just sat down and it was it was nice like no one was dancing I know that sounds a bit depressing but like for me I, I I'm so glad I experienced something like that because we just sat down and like you truly like I don't know, like, just appreciated, like, the songs, like, the actual lyrics, do you know what I mean? I mean, the crowd still did go a bit crazy, to be fair. Like, there was a lot of, like, singing along and clapping along and stuff. But, yeah, it was so good, as I'm sure you can tell from the clips. But I thought I'd quickly now just show, show you a couple of the things I picked up from London. Like I did say, I'm not going to show you the things I got from Primark because that would just go on to April's Primark haul. Um, but I did get a couple of bits in Zara Bershka? It was either Bershka or Pull and Bear um and boohoo there was a boohoo pop-up store which i think i filmed a little bit in but it was really cool they had like they didn't have loads and loads of clothes but they had some clothes and it, it honestly it was like an event it was so cool so i'm going to show you what i picked up from there and all the other places i just said okay i'll start with the boohoo pop-up store so it came in this bag which has now got mud all over it because i dropped it outside and if you watch my vlogs you know that it's very muddy where i live um but i just picked up this tracksuit I've wanted a Boohoo tracksuit for the longest, longest time. Like, I hear everyone rave about them. And they look so nice. But I've just never, like, brought myself to spend the money on it. Because I know that it's, like, loads and loads of money. But I don't know. It's kind of like an investment. But because we were actually there and I didn't have to pay for delivery or anything like that, I thought, do you know what? I'm going to get one. And I actually picked one that's, like, shorts rather than joggers. Because I thought it would, like, now, like, last me for a good few months. Because I can wear it into the spring. So, yeah, as I'm sure you've seen, I picked up a pink set so this is the shorts and it's actually got a little detail i think it says it says athleisure limited edition it just comes with this hoodie i don't think the hoodie's got it. oh yeah it's just got the same print there and then nothing on the back but yeah i just thought it was really nice and i thought for spring that would look so good and that was 28 pounds so i think everything was actually slightly cheaper in the pop-up store as well okay and then from pull and bear i picked up these cargoes i don't know how well you'll be able to see them um but it's like a drawstring waist that's the bum <laughs> and then they're just cargoes yeah and these were actually in the sale which is why i picked them up um so i just find medium but it looks like really big so i'm sure it'll be fit but then you have that like pulley thing and these were originally 35.99 down to 22.99 and i just thought they were really nice and the length looked like it'd be perfect for my height because i'm very small and they're in like a gray blue color it is gray but i would say it's more like a grey bluey purple almost yeah so i'm really excited to pair them with an outfit okay i only got two bits from zara like i didn't get much but i spent a lot of money in the end because obviously the tracksuit and then yeah i spent too much money but do you know what it's all right we never go to london like me and dan were saying we literally can probably count on one hand how many times we've been to london in our like four and a half year relationship so 
got to just make the most of it. So from Zara, I actually picked up a lip oil because they had a massive, like there was a massive section upstairs of all Zara Beauty. And I knew they did like nail varnishes and lip oils and stuff like that. But I didn't know they did, they literally had like concealer, foundation, like everything. And I just couldn't believe it. I should have got like loads of makeup and done like a testing video. Maybe I'll do that at some point, like online and stuff. But I've seen people rave about their lip oils. I don't know if there's a dupe for the Dior lip oil maybe. I feel like it might be. But this is what it looks like. It honestly looks a bit like a nail polish. Um, and I've not actually tried it on yet. And they had like three different shades. So I just got this one, like the red one. And it's called Swell. So yeah, hopefully that's nice. And that was $9.99. And then I also just picked up this little crop top. I actually have this in like a mint colour already. Mint green colour. I got it in like a navy blue kind of colour. I really like that colour. Don't own a top that colour. And it was $7.99. So yeah, I'm now on my lunch break. And I'm just going to edit this video and get it up for you guys tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know if it's a bit mi mix and match kind of video. Probably is. But honestly, I'm not, I'm not a great vlogger, as you can tell. Like, I get quite shy in public like especially if it's like in this country like when i've been on holiday and stuff i don't care about vlogging in public because i'm like no one here knows me and i don't really care but in somewhere that i know not that i know anyone in london to be fair that's still quite far away from my area i would never be able to do it in my area but i don't know i just always feel a bit conscious when there's like a lot of people around so i kind of just filmed like little bits that i could but i still worth putting it up because like i said i watch my killers vlog back all the time i literally watched it back today um, I love watching stuff like that back. It's just like a good memory to have. So I thought I'd still put it out. And yeah, if you are a fan of Dean Lewis like me, then I'm sure you'll enjoy this as well. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And please like and subscribe this video if you did enjoy it. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye.